So, for example, now, when we find in the Bible, right? And just so you can educate me. Sure. But every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head. Yes. For that is the one and the same as if her head were shaved. Yes. For if a woman is not covered, let her also be sworn. Sure. But it is shameful for her to be sworn or shaved, let her be covered. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Where is the implementation of that today? And I have a real problem with that. In okay. fact, I've written essays on that. Okay, so what's your problem with this? Good. My problem is this, mm -hmm. that the Koine word mm -hmm. for head is kefala. Okay. It is used all through the New Testament. Okay. And according to that passage, mm -hmm. in a marriage, the man has a kind of spiritual headship over the woman. Okay. And this is also reflected in two... So what is the covering of that then? Okay, I'm getting to it. Okay. I'm getting to it. Mm -hmm. The covering, mm -hmm. according to that passage, mm -hmm. is a symbol that her husband has authority over her. Okay. In fact, it's even said in 1 Corinthians 14, if she's got a question, uh -huh. don't speak up in church, go home and ask your husband so, that you might learn from her husband. So a husband has authority over the woman? Over his wife. Okay. Okay. Now, it's not like an equal not setting then? Not well, all they're, they're, they're equal in this sense, okay. that they both have access to God through Jesus. Okay. But... When it comes to leadership mm -hmm. and responsibility and the buck stops with the man, the husband has authority over his wife. All right. Okay, so Sounds good. I, I'm convinced. That okay. So for a man ought not to cover his head. Yes. Since So, so this is you're saying is yeah. not an actual covering. This is the authority. The covering is a symbol of the authority. It says so right a man should not have authority over him? Oh, no, no. It says if a man prays with a covering on his head, he dishonors Christ. His head is what the text says. So what does that mean? It means... You're saying that the covering is not physical, it's an authority. No, I'm saying the covering is a symbol for the authority. So there is a physical covering a woman should wear? Yes. How come women don't wear that here? Because they don't take, they don't take it for seriously. But uh. Paul also says in the, in the second part of that chapter, the nuns sometimes, little, yeah, that nowadays later, they've kind of left on, it too. A little yeah. later in that chapter, it says... Yeah. They used to, yeah, you're right. You know, one of the problems in Corinth was prostitutes and temple prostitutes shaved their heads to prevent lice infestations. And so it's very common to have prostitutes with shaved heads. Gotcha. Okay? And, so, okay. and so God is saying, look, if I gave women their long hair right. as a covering, okay. because a woman... She has a natural veil. It says Paul says her hair is her natural veil. Okay. Because a woman reflects God's glory in ways a man does not. Okay. In fact, it says in that same chapter a woman is the glory of the man. Right. But man is the glory of God. It says that in that same chapter. Right. So 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 a man is not from woman, but woman from man. Yes. Nor was man created for woman, but woman for man. For okay. this reason, the woman ought to have a symbol of authority on her head. Because of the angels. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Right, cool. Angels are very sensitive to divine order. Okay. And so, according to Paul, mm -hmm. there's three theological reasons mm -hmm. for a woman to have a covering. Okay. Number one, source of her creation was Adam's body. Okay. Number two... Is that in the Bible? Uh, yes. Can you show it? Yeah, Genesis this? 2. Right. Genesis 2. I just like to learn. Yeah, it says in Genesis 2 that uh, the man was put to sleep. No, the, the, three, the three sources for, or reasons for covering yeah, that you were mentioning. Number one. Can, I, can source, I see it in the Genesis? Yeah, the yeah. source of the woman's body is the man's body. Gotcha. She was taken from his side, his yes, rib. And in being taken from his rib, There's Genesis. Uh, she was created second. So uh, it says, <laughs> And the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Then the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman. Okay, okay. it's all there. Well, but I mean, the covering is not mentioned here, right? Well, here's the point. Okay. Here's the point. Right. Three theological reasons for the woman's head covering. But that's not in, I mean, the three listed as three reasons are not in the Bible, First right? Corinthians 11, where you just turned to oh, But, but it, it, it only gave one reason, well, which no, was... Well, it says three. Okay, let's take a look. I'm yeah, not, there's three. Three okay. reasons right there. So, but every woman... Go ahead. Here's the three reasons. Okay. Number one. She is the image and glory of the man. The man is the image and glory of God. Okay. Number two, the woman does not, uh, the woman does not, uh, for man does not originate from woman, but woman from man. The okay. first woman was, was from a man. Right. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm with next, you. Next, mm -hmm. nor was the, was the man created for the woman. The woman was created for the man. Third. Okay. Fourth. 
I'm just kidding. Well, there's, there's three, three, three main reasons. <laughs> All right. So, 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 so just, just so I can learn, yeah, you're saying that a Christian woman who believes in this today yes. should cover her head. But Paul also says her long hair is her veil. But it says here kind of that covering. covering of her head. Yes. And if she doesn't, then her head should be shaved. So if her hair was enough, what would she be covering? Good point. But he was, he was, criticizing, like <laughs> he was criticizing the abuses in the church in Corinth. All right, so back to the good point. Yeah. So that means a woman should cover her hair, she according should. to you. She, she should. should have a symbol All right, we of agree. her husband's authority. I mean, in Islam... She should, she should have a symbol of her husband's authority. In Islam, we yes. don't believe the covering is an authority of the husband. It says we, so there, though. Yeah, in the Bible. Yes. I'm saying from an Islamic perspective. Right. In Islam, hijab or the covering yes. has something to do with you and your creator, whether you're married or not. It has to do with modesty. Yes. Then it has to do with people not looking at what, and then not just the hair, I mean, other body parts that should not be looked at by people who right. intend to harm. Right. Uh, we're in agreement here. Yeah. Excellent.